Hello loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aries. Okay, so this right here is real dark and shady. I'm just gonna let you know now. I don't like it. This emperor in the reverse. The emperor is Aries. This could be any energy. I'm picking up Aries, Capricorn, Taurus. <sighs> Some of you need to be careful. Now, don't you be careful. Don't be scared. But it's just very clear here. Somebody here is an emperor in the reverse. Like I said, entitled. Someone feels like because of their money, their status, their power, that they are entitled to something, that they are entitled to you. Somebody here, most like, there's a person here who already knows that this person is strategically coming towards them slowly but surely to try and deceive them or betray them or even to hurt them. Somebody could even be doing this to try and, uh, somebody could be trying to hurt or harm or scare someone even for money or somebody here is doing something to try to um get a foot back into someone's life or just their energy because this person is claiming here with the knight of pentacles that this knight of pentacles ten of pentacles is either somebody is trying to figure out the best way to make an offer to you for long-term stabil stability but this person only wants to offer you something for the sake of money this also um i'm hitting blood wars this this somebody here is trying to get connected to you to be connected to your bloodline your inheritance they it's something here but see a plan is gonna backfire because somebody is rushing towards you somebody could even be traveling towards you but i feel like this person it's like they're being watched. They're about to find out they're being watched or you know this person is being watched or you're mon Somebody here is being monitored for some kind of plan. Now, today, I don't I don't know exactly what today is. There's a full moon in Capricorn coming up in a few days. A lot of people are traveling, okay? Somebody here needs to be careful because, you know, it's really easy. And I've noticed this over the years. People try to do a lot of spell work and setups and stuff like that, especially during holidays, holiday long weekends and things like that. Because you have these different people who will watch and monitor you. When you go out with friends and family or whatever, if you just so happen to go and visit a random person or do something that you don't normally do, you don't typically suspect that it's because someone is trying to harm you in any type of way. But I'm getting for somebody out here, this could be one person story, whatever. Be careful. And some of you need to be careful also of a friend who is working in cahoots with somebody to set you up. I, like this seven of swords here. Did you have this emperor in the reverse king of pentacles? The seven of swords. This is a female. Then the knight of pentacles, the ten of pentacles. Somebody here, this could be a couple. This is at least three or four people, though, who are all working together. These people could be in a family or somebody here could be married, okay? But be mindful of someone possibly traveling towards you, trying to get you to go out, or someone even trying to get you to travel, okay? Some of you also need to be aware that you may think that you're talking to somebody that is trying to make some type of travel plans or a plan to hang out with you or something like that. That's not who you're talking to. Either that person has been bribed by someone to set you up or somebody is catfishing you. You need abort mission. Some, something here you don't need to do or somewhere you don't need to go. Page of Wands, Ten of Swords. Yeah, somebody here is, is already planning to take action to do something to have you in the Ten of Swords. So let me, let me, right now, <clears throat> 
when I tell you that my mind is somewhere else, like I'm, I'm really trying to figure out um, where something is located. It's a deck, but I'm randomly in my mind. I'm like, I can't hardly focus because I'm looking for this deck. Somebody could be looking for something try, or someone is trying to locate a person. Somebody, you know, as above, so below. Somebody even spiritually is trying to locate you. Be mindful, you guys. Oh, I'm serious. Like somebody trying to track you, locate you or something. Something here is not right. The sun is falling underneath this emperor in the reverse. This could have something to do with some children or a child, something being exposed. This king of pentacles, five of swords, nine of wands, ace of cups. Yeah. Somebody here is mad because you've chosen something new in your life. New job. You've, you've chosen to be in a new city. I heard new job, new love, something. Something new that you're happy about. And you could be keeping this hidden. That's what I'm saying. This person, they, I don't like your thoughts is what I'm hearing. Because see, you're, whoever this, you're not putting somebody on a pedestal. They don't like that. Seven of Swords. The devil. I told you. You got it. So somebody here has a real sneaky friend. Now this 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 friend, this could be male or female, anybody. But this here is a it's a tower coming. Whatever this is, I don't think it's gonna work. But that doesn't mean that they won't try it. The devil, seven of swords. Yeah. Somebody here is is working with the devil to try and lure you into something. I have a reading from a while ago. I said somebody's trying to lure you into the lion's den. The knight of pentacles here and the high priestess. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure that for a lot of you, if this person is, is trying to tap into your thoughts, which I don't believe, people can't actually, well, let me say, I don't want to say that because I hear people say, you know, the enemy, they can't read your thoughts. People can absolutely invade dreams and, and find other ways to monitor you um, using monitoring spirits and all types of things like that. But what I will say is, whoever this is, if you're a high priestess, they should know that you know what they're doing. And, and I think that that's the problem. They don't know if you know it's them or what they're doing. And you may not know. You know, sometimes... but. The thing about it is when spirit is is alerting you to do something, you a lot of times you don't know why. You don't know where it's coming from, who it's coming from. You just know not to do something. Somebody does not like your your spiritual guidance or GPS because it's too hard for them to get you. This is tracking, locating something. Mm. Ten of Pentacles and the King of Swords in the reverse. This is somebody here who will do anything for money. Anything. There's an angel, though, who is watching this Divine Feminine. It's a, it's a Divine Feminine who's constantly being watched. Somebody, they can't touch you. Be mindful, too, at this time of people trying to strip you of your spiritual protection. Somebody is trying to make sure they, they want to cancel out any type of protection that you have. King of Swords in the reverse, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is like, listen, I don't care. Somebody here will do anything for money. And I, I feel somebody has been paid to do something to a person for money. Yep, the moon. Six of Swords. Someone could be traveling by night. The chariot. Why is the chariot here? The chariot and the moon. Cancer moon. Cancer season just started. Three of cups, the chariot. Three of cups. Yeah. Somebody here is traveling, claiming that it's it's for for fun, for friends. You need to wake up though, because something here could get you in some kind of a bind. Or somebody is not telling the truth about why they suddenly want to travel. This is something that will have you bound. Of course, if this isn't you, this is someone around you. Yep, 
the hermit, ten of wands, and the six of pentacles. It's a burden here. The fact that a person here's the death card in the reverse, and the five of wands, the hierophant. It's something about this hermit. There's a heavy monitoring spirit out here. You have somebody that is trying to watch and see, are you burdened? Somebody is trying to watch and see where you are, what you're doing, what you're giving to, what aren't you giving to? Are you burdened? Is the spell work working? Like somebody is, and that's what I'm saying about being careful you will have friends and family or, or complete strangers who will work with different people to try and watch you monitor you. This is a plot. This is all part of a plan. The fool card. Yeah, the three of swords, though. I feel like you're going to be okay, but I would say just be mindful of people randomly talking to you, texting you, calling you, inviting you out. Because there, there's for sure something lingering in the shadows that you need to be paying attention to. Again, be, be careful though. You don't have to be scared, but, but do be careful. Nine of Cups in the reverse, King of Cups in the reverse, Queen of Cups in the reverse. Dang, the lovers, and then the star. Yeah, there you have it. That's the reading. It's a relationship here that you walked away from. It's over. Nine of Cups in the reverse, King of Cups in the reverse, Queen of Cups in the reverse, the lovers. This contract here, it was destined for something to end. It has ended. The lovers also speaks of a choice. Okay. Somebody has realized possibly that a person now has a new choice in love. They're going towards something new. This person wanted you to look at this two of swords, two of wands. Somebody wanted you jammed up so that you could not go on to be victorious and have success in your life. The three of wands, the queen of wands and the queen of pentacles. Who are these two people? It's like, yeah, I don't like this. This is giving me very much like a, a setup. This is like somebody's friends and family are assisting somebody to set them up. I don't know if they know they're helping somebody to be set up or or not. Yeah, the, the Knight of Cups here, the Justice card, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Somebody is trying to get you, you stuck, caught up. So that you don't move towards like some kind of opportunity, a business partnership or relationship or something. This this comes out every day. I, like I don't I don't get it. it. It comes out every other day. Somebody is watching you. Like I said, somebody somebody is for sure they're they're watching your moves, trying to figure out your next move. What is this? Somebody who is possibly giving you false hope. Uh, look at this false twin flying false hope let me see what, what's in this deck false hope false twin false hope at the bottom a false twin flame will lead you and tell you that you feel the same that they feel the same way about you only for you to discover later that that isn't the case somebody here is possibly married already and they're trying to like convince you I don't understand this. This is literally somebody here, y'all, who is like married. And they're trying to somehow bait you in to a situation. This is somebody here who is, is married, who is upset that you don't see them as your best option. Like, what? Runner. It says... Your love interest doesn't want to be involved for whatever reason. Don't mistake in their running for a twin flame connection and try to force it. Manifesting. You're manifesting something here, but you have a person 
that is running from a connection or they ran from this connection and you may be convinced that like this is your twin flame because they're running from the connection no it says here mania love this kind of love leads into madness and obsessiveness often wanting a reinforcement of your own value which can lead to codependency you're trying to make so some of you oh man there's it's confusion here you're manifesting something different this energy is splitting you're manifesting something that will happen at the right time but you have a person that ran away from a connection that you most likely thought at some point was your twin flame this person is now very upset about the fact that you don't that you don't see them as your counterpart hesitation is here you have a i feel like some of you have a new person that's in your life or about to enter your life this person is hesitating to come towards you even though they know that the two of you are in sync because you have this person in the background that's doing all of this crazy stuff for some of you it's like it's almost not even safe for you to connect with somebody or somebody is trying to paint the illusion that it's not safe see this is what this is it's a scare tactic somebody wants you to be so confused and afraid that you don't connect with somebody this is somebody trying to spiritually bully you. And this person could absolutely be married already. So for some of you who are still under the impression that somebody who is, is married or in another relationship or whatever is your counterpart and you're waiting on this person, you may want to be careful because this person and possibly other people that they are involved with are trying to set you up. There's a new connection out here. Yeah, it's a hidden blessing. For some of you, for some of you too, let me, because I'm picking up a, a, another energy here. For some of you, you really are confused about who your person is. For some of you, you think that because you have all this stuff in common with somebody, that they're your person. I'm getting that. Um, and it's very interesting because lately a lot of stuff is, has been happening. And, you know, I'll talk to different people. Y'all need to understand when you meet people sometimes, you know, the, the, the times that we're living in now, which is very dark. When you meet people who tell you all their like, I, I don't know. I, I, you really have to, <laughs> I'm trying to put this the best way I can be, be mindful of love bombing y'all. You will have people who will come out of the woodworks and will approach you or come back into your life. They want to know everything about you. They want to know when you wake up, when you go to bed. They want to know what all of your favorites. Be mindful. I'm here. Be mindful of a person coming in with 21 questions. People will run into your life and try to learn you only to study you these are people who are obsessed y'all don't understand it. it's a lot of people out here who are really not right they have trauma and wounding and things happening within them around them or that they have that have been going on since they were a child the start the, i'm sorry the sun is here and this emperor in the reverse some people here have gone through things in their childhood and their past and i literally talked about this in a reading maybe yesterday about a masculine here who is fighting father issues but see the problem here is that a lot of people you are very confused because you have masculines out here and feminists who are doing the work to heal but you still have the the masculines who are distorted who are not doing the work they will never do the work who are also in your energy some of you guys because of codependency and unhealed trauma when you meet these people who you think they want to know everything about you and all, you don't understand that you're being set up. These people are love bombing you. Once they know everything about you, once they get in your house, they get in your mind, they get you in your head and in the bed, that's a wrap. Like then at that point, they have already, they've connected, uh, they, they've, they've connected the cord that they need to monitor you to watch you to block your blessings to try to destiny swap with you some people are paid to do this this could even be like a person that's like a a, a paid practitioner 
they travel and they do this is how they make it through life it's just what they do it's a lot of people out here who are very much spiritually gifted okay and for some of you, you don't realize that a person that you once wanted a relationship with or that you currently want a relationship with, you think that this person is running from this connection because, oh, you know, this is just a twin flame and we're in separation. And I can understand because even watching Tara, I just did a reading the other day and I've done several readings about there are counterparts out here that's doing this, but the, the counterfeits, the false ones are hiding. They're trying to confuse you. They're trying to mirror experiences like a person who is actually doing the work to heal so that they can bait you in and, and, and bite you. You have one person out here that's really doing the work. This other person is trying to sneak back into your energy and mirror experiences like you or someone that you are supposed to connect with so that they can, they can get you hooked. This kind of lead, love leads into madness and obsessiveness. This is someone who could be married, who they only want to come around during a Mercury retrograde or a holiday weekend. They don't want to be with you. But with this hermit card over here, this person is indeed watching and monitoring you. If you have social media or something like that, they're watching and monitoring everything that you do. This person wants to get closer to know what's going on in your personal life because you've probably cut this person off. They want to know about what's going on because they know you're manifesting something. You're manifesting a connection with someone that you will be able to surrender with and be in sync with. Look. And I feel the need to tell some of you too because you have here differences in hitting blessings. Some of you, it's just so many different misconceptions. That's the reason why you have to watch at your own discretion and be, and be discerning. But listening to love readings, soulmate readings, twin flame readings, you really, you have to know who you are. And I don't think that readers should have to constantly change how they read some people who really know the journey some people know the journey and that still doesn't mean that they're on the journey first of all that there's something that you have to understand just because a person is reading doesn't mean that they truly know about the these high level divine connections but a lot of people who are watching tarot i can i can feel it are very confused some of you think that you need to be with a person that is a super spiritual, just like you and da 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 da. And I know we talking to the high priestess, higher friend. Some of you don't realize though that you're connected with people who are very spiritual and they're actually more spiritually advanced and evolved than you. And they're actually practicing things in the dark. Some of you have run across a person who is very spiritually, spiritually like advanced. And they possibly practice things like that are very dark. I'm talking very dark black magic. And you may not know that about this person. However, I can see how a lot of people in the spiritual community, especially, they want to gravitate towards other people who are very spiritual. Some of you, you need to stay away from people like that. Because they recognize your light and your gifts and they're using it for themselves. Some of you, you may want to go towards a person who is not into anything uh, that's so spiritual. Because it, for, it may be a blessing in disguise for you to be with the type of person who is not into spirituality. Because you, you're dealing with someone or you dealt with someone who's into spirituality. You don't know it. We talked about this a few weeks ago. Somebody in your life that you've crossed paths with has been hiding the fact that they are most likely like a master occultist or something like that. You didn't know that this person is causing so much chaos, conflict, and confusion in your life. You're being asked to go in a totally different direction. There's some kind of detour here. For some of you, there's a detour just in your life path. But even like 
in the in the next few days or whenever you hear this reading because it'll resonate when you hear it at the right time if you're being told don't go somewhere or don't do something don't do it because it's, it's a blessing in disguise if you are hesitating to do something you need to listen to that something here is not right it's really based on an illusion for sure but i feel like something here is being rushed like somebody is definitely trying to get into a person's home or their energy i'm hearing vanilla somebody feels like a person is real gullible naive just like a vanilla kind of person This could even be a man. Somebody feels like even a man, like that person is is gullible. They they don't know how. I mean, they don't know how the streets really work. Somebody here out seriously, you need to be really careful about letting people in your house, into your space, letting people connect with you energetically, sexually. Cause I'm just seeing that there there is some type of hookup or something here that can really go wrong. Somebody is very much overly enthused with the fact that somebody is a different type. Like they're different. Oh, this person is so different from me. This is so this is new. But again, it's like there is something for you that's new and it's different. But you have a person, it, it's just a snake coming in. There's a distraction that's being sent in. Highs and lows. Karmic love is often passionate and fiery one minute, cold and distant the next. Usually representing unhealed aspects you are both working through. Travel. I told you. Be ready for new experiences or possibly an opportunity to travel. Whatever this new adventure is, you can count on making progress. Something here you got, I'm telling you, you can even see the cards. Something is telling you to go somewhere, do so. Again, if you're being called to go somewhere, fine. But be mindful of who you are connecting with. Okay? Because somebody is really trying to mirror the energy of someone that you're supposed to be connecting with. And they're not that. That's not who they are. I, I know what I'm feeling. I know it. Divine time is so-called love and false hope. Yeah. And then fifth dimension. Did somebody here knows that you have a counterpart. They know it. They already know this. I feel like somebody is trying to tap into your memories. Somebody here who is haunted by the past. Like they're trying to relive all of your good and bad memories. They can't let it go. But see, some soulmates, karmic or whatever, they, they're not meant to last forever. You can't, and if something here is overletic, like you really need to let this go. Because you do have a connection that is forming in the 5D. It's a divine feminine and masculine who are energetically connecting. But you have a person that does not want to let go of your energy. So if this person is tapping into your energy, trying to monitor your energy, what they are monitoring is that you have a new connection here. There, somebody is monitoring a, a budding connection with the divine counterpart spiritually. They're spiritually monitoring this connection. They're trying to keep up with everything that you and this person are doing in spirit. And if you are already connected to this person, they're monitoring everything. It's something about this hermit card. Somebody could be a Virgo. They don't have to. Whoever this is, no matter what their sign is, they stay hidden. This person is hiding in your energy. They're hiding in your community. They're hiding tracking devices. Everything about this person is hidden. Something here is meant to happen in divine timing, and this person knows it. It says this connection is a soul call of this connection is so intense it almost feels real. You cling to their good qualities to avoid seeing the negative. Is it love you feel or addiction? I'm telling you, this is somebody here who is giving you nothing but false hope. 
nothing but false hope. And you, somebody here is thinking that a person like is your their twin flame. No, this person was just supposed to be passing through your life. You may have met this person when you was going through like some kind of breakup or something like that. This person could have control issues and they're blocked. You need to block this person or this is somebody that you did break up with and there's no going back to this situation. This person is trying to control you because they're probably being controlled by whatever dark spirits or entities that they're working with. This is like somebody really redefining what is love because no relationship is just going to be easy all the time. But... I feel like it's it's very clear that something or someone is really not your safe space. Your your spirit should be very triggered by whoever this person is that's trying to hide in your energy, because it's very like this. It's very triggering to me. This person is for sure trying to telepathically communicate with you. They're spiritually spying on you, and they don't like the fact that there is somebody else in your energy. This person is really upset about this very upset about it and now that they know that somebody else is connecting with you energetically physically or whatever it's your business this person is trying to create so much chaos and conflict and confusion and like i said the person is hidden because they're doing all of this spiritually this is a spiritual attack it's a psychic attack as well this person is trying to to attack your psyche your your mind, your thoughts. I don't like this. It's a true divine feminine or masculine here. And somebody is trying so hard to make this person think that that person is not for them. So that they can sneak in. It's like somebody's like, aha, got you. <laughs> like, th this is a game to this person to keep you in this cycle, making the wrong decision. And I feel because the message is coming out so strongly, somebody is really about to fall for this. The world, four pinnacles. Spirit is like, judgment, you better wake up. Wake up because you think that everything is fine here. But you think everything is fine with somebody that's working against you. For some of you, this for some of you, this is this is not a past person. For some of you, this is a new person. Like someone that you recently met. And, and this person is very eager to get around you. Very eager to get in your house. They could live at a distance. They're very eager to, to travel with you or have you travel towards them or like they want to link up with you. This person has already seen something in you that they like, that they want. This could be a very, the emperor's in, or this person is very insecure. They come off, of course, like an emperor, but they're distorted. This person comes off like they have a lot of things in life figured out. You could even feel like you're impressed, but you, you don't know that this person is, is like very cunning. Sorry. <laughs> and all they're going to do is give you false hope. Wow. This person could be telling you, you know, they don't really want a relationship or but it's this this connection for somebody is so intense. You could have met this person while you were traveling, y'all. I, I don't know this for some of you. This could be somebody like I said you recently met. You met this person while you was traveling or something like that. And you know those situations it just takes off really fast. It's a t this a test. This is for sure a test. Sometimes you meet those people and all of a sudden, you know, it's just the fireworks. Just, you feel like, oh my gosh. Yeah. After talking to somebody for two days, you think you're in love with them. It, it's something weird like that here. And somebody is, is how do you say it? Um, uh... 
I just went completely blank. It's like somebody is so attached, infatuated, obsessed with the idea of having love or having a soulmate, a twin flame, that they're easily falling for trickery. And that's why I heard somebody say they, they don't really know how the streets are. Somebody doesn't know how, how it is in the spiritual streets. Somebody doesn't know when they're being bamboozled. Somebody doesn't know when, when they're being um, sought after by a, a narcissist. And, and, and this is covert narcissism. This is the person that comes in and, and they're the prince charming. And you think that, you know, everything in their life is so well put together, da, 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 all this and that. Whole time, this person could, could be completely crazy. For some of you, this person is married, living a double life. Like I said, this person is in and out of town traveling because this person, wherever they go, they're a different person. It's giving very much like con person. Definitely like a shapeshifter. In, energy vampires. Energy vampires holiday. Chilling, spending time. Narcissist. I just. This person. Is trying to get around you to spend time with you because they want to drain your energy. I feel like if you let this person around you in your home or something like that, this is somebody that you will find. Oh, wow. I'm, I literally am saying that. This is the kind of person you think everything is cool. You get around this person. All of a sudden, you find out like, they're an alcoholic. They do drugs or something like something that's just like completely off-putting. But this kind of person is a spiritually bully. So once they're in, they're like, yo, I'm here now. This is the kind of person to come to your house and, and to tell you that they're not leaving. I'm telling you, this person has a plan to bully someone. Like I said, if this isn't you, this could be happening to a friend or a family member. I don't feel like this is this. I don't feel like this is happening to a lot of you. It may be happening to somebody that you know, but please beware. Moving up in a particular body of knowledge, you, this is a test for you. Can you recognize a narcissist? And there's a lot of different forms. Energy vampire, you, you have the, the religious narcissist, you have the covert narcissist, you have just the, 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 they're all demonic, but it's levels to narcissism. In order for you to graduate from being in this empath narcissist paradigm, this cycle of dealing with these type of people, you have to recognize when this type of energy is coming towards you. Somebody here has convinced themselves that they want a certain type of person but you want a certain type of person based on something that causes you to trauma bond. Somebody is very drawn to the idea of a person being masculine, but this is a distorted masculine. What this person is representing, this um, this person comes off like they can offer you some kind of security or stability. That's why the emperor is here. But this is a role this person is playing. This person is, is a grown child. It's a role. That's why the son is out here with the emperor in the reverse. This person acts like, you know, they can, they, they, they're going to hold it down for you. Baby, I know everything you like. I, they, that's why they're asking you the 21 questions because once they find out what you like, all they have to do then is pretend and get there and get in. These are the kind of people who you look up and before you, they're living with you, they're they're running you, controlling you. They have addictions and all kinds of stuff, and you won't even you don't know. The doctor card is out here again. I don't know why the, the this person could work in the medical field. They don't have to lust lustful thoughts seducer. This is an energy vampire, and this person wants to sleep with you. Mm 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 mm. The doctor is out here. Ooh, listen. Be careful. This is the kind of person that will knowingly, purposely give you an incurable disease. 
And you know, you can sue people for that. But with seducer, lust, intimacy out here, this person is very, very calculated. Model. They may look very, they may look good. A storm is brewing. You have here, it says, police do not cross. Somebody here could be involved with something um, dealing with politics. There could be a person out here that's some kind of influencer. Or they aspire to be some kind of... I feel like this is a very, very good-looking person. And somebody here who is actively manifesting true love, this is a tactic of the devil. The devil is going to bring you in somebody that looks like everything you ever wanted. And all he needs to do is put this chain around you. And that's it. You can't, you cannot fall for this. Some of you, like I said, traveling, the holidays, you go out, you go back to your hometown, you go out of town, hang out with friends. It's somebody out here that's, I'm talking, a bloodthirsty, narcissistic demon. And you are their prey. They want you. They want you. Miami could be significant. Somebody could be going to Miami this weekend. An ex. Um, Miami could definitely be significant. I don't know why. I've seen like four things about Miami today you have here afraid yeah something could happen here you could be left af afraid actually if you go out celebrating with this public figure or whomever you could even be somebody that's like a, a model or very attractive or something like that this person wants to come in and seduce you they want to celebrate with you or this is the kind of lifestyle that this person lives where they they go out they party with with very attractive people or whatever drain their energy with sex or, or any whatever they want to do and then they're out of there somebody here definitely could be in the beauty industry or like i said just be very attractive you have bills here you need to be careful because it looks like here if you go out drinking testing the water this person here listen is all into all kinds of stuff same sex relationship drinking testing the waters the doctor out here, somebody really could end up hurt. This is a message, especially if you are a female and you're out here dealing with like an older man that you think this person has money, they're wilding out, inviting you somewhere, flying you out or whatever the case is. You really need to be careful because if this person sleeps with you, I just feel like this is something that could go wrong. Somebody here is going to be somewhere balled up in fetal position almost, possibly at the doctor, ready to sue somebody. Okay? This, th this is something that's very karmic. And you need to protect yourself. Drinking, testing the water, saying, say, this is somebody here who lives a double lifestyle. This could be an older man. Definitely could be older than this person. Or if they, like I said, if this isn't you, this is just a lifestyle somebody lives. They could be married, have kids and everything, but this person, they go out of town. They sleep with younger people, seduce them, steal people's energy. This is an extremely narcissistic person. And what I'm really getting from this is, for some of you, like I said, this isn't you. This is, this is showing you the type of lifestyle that this person that is trying to connect with you or reconnect with you. This is the kind of lifestyle that they, that they, um... They're hiding. And going back to the I don't like your thoughts. This person doesn't like the fact that you don't want to engage in this type of behavior. You don't want to be involved with them. This person's like, well, who do you think you are? Because it's something this person is very triggered by being rejected. They don't like that. 
artist, musician, yeah. And this is somebody here, definitely. They're, they're hanging around. I'm hearing high rollers. They hang around high rollers. I'm getting it's two different stories out here. Or it almost feels like this is giving you past current future predictions of one situation but it's all behind the scenes we're in you know cancer season the illusions you may have met somebody and thought that they were your person this person is living a double life that you don't know about or you do know about it if you do know about it they're still upset that they can't convince you to be down for whatever they're 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 dealing with they don't like that as I say, the 1221 on the clock, you know, this person is trying to project this energy to make it seem like they're your person. Look, this is all about hooking up sexual fantasies. This person is having sexual fantasies about you. This, this phase will soon end, but you need to wake up and see that this is not what you think it is. And I feel like for some of you, you have a, 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 a nice person that's trying to come into your life, but somebody here is very much like, um... Either this is how you were in the past or currently, you're overly enthused with a certain type of lifestyle that God is trying to remove you from this person or this group of people, whatever, friends. What These people are trying to really get you tied into like a, a kingdom of darkness that if you allow yourself to get back in it, especially if you've gotten out of it, you won't get out this time. Because somebody is trying to attach something to you that it seems is going to be permanent. With a doctor card out here, definitely. This is somebody, you you know how all that stuff goes, y'all. You, you watch the news. This high roll of lifestyle. Somebody can lay something, get you drinking, eating something. Like, you know, some people don't make it out of these situations. Don't don't be a headliner. Look, New Year's, something significant about this holiday and lying. Somebody here is lying to you. New Year's celebrations, traveling, new view. Somebody here wants to travel somewhere. You better see this from a higher perspective about the fact that somebody is lying to you. You could have met this person during New Year's, a party or gathering. <sighs> Y'all, addictions and catfish. I, listen, someone is not who they appear to be. You, you guys, you think that somebody is... They got it all figured out. They have money, this, that. Behind the scenes, something is not going to be hidden. There is a lot going on behind the scenes. Things happen that you can't see. And you're going to be, be listen, black, this person will blackmail you. You're being guided to relax and to know somebody here is sending you the evil eye. They want to get you caught up. Because you are choosing not to go the wrong way. This person, somebody is so mad that you're manifesting and balancing your life out and that they cannot have you bound to whatever they're bound to. Apology here. Maybe this person wants to apologize, but that may be the way that they're trying to bait you in. Like, hey, I want to apologize to you. No, they don't. This person, <laughs> they're bound to a situation. And it seems like somebody has already kind of gotten you mixed into something. But because you're staying away from this person or this situation or this group, that's the only thing that's protecting you. Somebody is trying to bait you back into something. They're testing the waters, trying to see, you know, how hard will it be really to get you caught up? Bills, this says bills, but I'm also seeing receipts here. Beauty industry, somebody could be telling you, you know, that, that they'll go in and, and buy you some hair clothes makeup i don't know but this is this is very low vibrational though this is somebody who is still who doesn't know enough about their self-worth because because somebody thinks that if they if they take you to sephora and 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 take you to a club for the weekend that they can destroy your whole life and if you go for it you know hey you you were warned if somebody listening to your thoughts or trying to tap into your thoughts and your dreams, they know what you're manifesting. So they're going to present something to you that looks like everything that you thought you, that you were manifesting. But it's false. It's an illusion. 
is to take you off your path. You are manifesting something that's going to happen at the right time, and they know that. So this this extremely jealous, obsessive person, they're bringing in some a, a catfish person to trick you. But but this is like really really bad intentions. The emperor with the sun in the reverse. This person has some deep childhood issues, and they they. It's all about the money with this person. This is a soulless being. You mean nothing to this person. 